Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be learning on how we can extract an entire row or how we can extract an entire column using MATLAB. So this is actually going to be super simple as long as we know a few rules. So the first one is going to be the MATLAB formatting is always going to be rows times columns. And I'll get to the rest of these guys in a second. But first, let me just see what we're dealing with here. Let me just run my matrices here. And this looks to be a three. This is a three by three matrices. And then let's just say I want to extract that first column right here. So four, one, four. And the way I'm going to do this is, is just like the previous video where I extracted like a like a, an element from the matrices. I'm going to define my matrices, which basically says which matrices I want to I want to get the information from. And since I only have one, that's going to be matrices A and then open parentheses. And then since I want to extract that first column and remember is the MATLAB formatting is rows times columns. So I'm going to say for all rows, I just want to extract the first column close parentheses and then that's that should give me 414 if we run it there we go 414 if i want to extract say the second column it's going to be i'm going to define my matrices um, so a and then i'm going to say for all rows i want to extract the second matrices i mean second um, column and that's going to give me 622. Two. And then if we run that, 622, two, there we go. And we can also do the same thing for all rows. So let's see. So let's say um, I want to extract that first row here, 467. The way I'm going to do this is pretty much going to be the opposite of what we did here. So I'm going to first of all define my matrices, um, which is going to be A, open parentheses. And then I'm going to say, for the first row, for the first row, I want to get everything in that column. So that's going to be defined by a column. And then if I run this, I'm pretty much going to see um, four, six, seven. There we go. Or if we want to do the, let's do another one. So let's get the last one. So that's going to be, um, I'm going to define my matrices, which is going to be A. And then I'm going to say for the third row, which is right here, I want to get all my columns. So for the third row, I want to get everything. And then that is going to give me 420. Oh, 420, look at that. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I'm trying to keep it as short and as sweet as possible. So if this video helped you, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Peace out.